What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to add multiple user accounts to your Galaxy S5. This should also work with most AOSP based devices, so if your phone's firmware is close to stock Android, it's certainly worth a try. But you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed to get this going. And if you need any help with either of those, just head to the full tutorial to link in the description below this video. So the app slash module that's behind this one is called Multiple Users, and you can download it for $1.37 from the Play Store. Or, if you'd rather try before you buy, the developer has made a free version available in a thread over on XDA. I've got links to both of those versions at the full tutorial, and with the XDA version you'll have to actually hit up the thread and download the installer file from there. And since that version doesn't come directly from Google Play, you'll need to have unknown sources enabled in settings under security before you can install it. But with all that out of the way, just tap the download complete notification to begin. On this next screen just hit install. Then when that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module that came with this app isn't activated yet. Just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification and Exposed will handle the rest for you. Okay, so now that we're back up, you'll see a new Users option in Settings. Just head in here, then tap the Plus button to add a new user. Hit OK on this next pop-up, then tap Set Up Now, and you should automatically be taken to the new user's lock screen. When you unlock the device now, you'll be asked to go through initial setup and add the new user's Google account credentials and whatnot. So it's just like when you started your phone up for the first time. But instead of going through all that, which should be fairly self-explanatory, I'll show you how to switch between users. Just head to the lock screen, then you'll see the user profile icons at the top of the screen. Tap the one that you want to use the phone as, then you'll see the lock screen wallpaper change. From here, just unlock the phone, and all of the apps and data from this user account will be loaded up. Everything is kept separate, so apps that you install and pictures that you take don't show up when the other user is logged in. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!